Hey guys, welcome back. And I am vlogging today because I am on Christmas break. So excited. First day and I'm loving it. I slept in till 7.45 and some of you guys will probably laugh, but that's sleeping in to me. So we just had a slow morning. We made some pancakes and just been hanging out. Um, not a whole lot going on today. Boston, I don't know where he's at. Has a haircut today. His Christmas cut, I call it, and it is due time. I will show you guys a little before and after of him. And then we're going live tonight. So we're kind of getting that all figured out and we need to get a few things at the grocery store for that. But it'll be fun. And I thought I would show you guys a couple things I got from my students, like Christmas gifts. Um, I just thought it was really sweet, some of the things, and some of them really fun. And maybe I'll give you guys ideas. This might be late. You know, maybe I'm sure most of you that have kids in school are out. But just to know, like, things for teachers, um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show. What are you doing back there? Eating gumball. Landon and Tuck got a little gumball machine from Daddy for after their Christmas program. So I'll show you guys that too. All right, here it is. You like your gumball machine? Yeah. Yeah. Lennon, you're now eating we have some right now. Own gum. Now you have your own gum all the time. So yeah, that's their gumball machine. I think, um, aren't the gumballs supposed to be inside here and then you push it and then they roll out? Yeah, but this blue thing, it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to go back. Oh, really? So the gumball, oh! There, so you close it and then you open it and they come out, right? Yeah. So let's try that. All right, time for my teacher Christmas gift haul. Boys are right there. So this is my fourth time starting this, guys. Look at those. And there you go, but the doubles. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll do this quickly. So I got this coffee tumbler. I think this is such a cute pattern. And honestly, I have, I would say, you know, three of these, but I still would love more because I use them every day. And most teachers do. I mean, I feel like 90% of teachers drink coffee. There are some that don't and they may drink tea, but I thought this pattern was really cute. And it's like, it's a really nice one. So I got that. Um, I got some socks, some really cozy socks that was from um, my teacher's age. She is so sweet. And then I got these from a student. I thought these were hilarious. Yeah, okay, have so, bouncy dinosaur. Yes, one second. So if you can read this, this teacher's off duty. So I thought that was super cute. Because I guess I'll have to put my feet up and wear those. Um, I also got, what do you say? Excuse me. Um, Starbucks. So this mug I think is so stinking cute. Isn't that so cute? I love Starbucks and I love, I think they honestly have the best mugs. And it comes with hot cocoa. So I got that on the lines of coffee and Starbucks. I got this tumbler and you guys, I love this so much. Justin's like, doesn't that hurt your hands? I'm like, no, I love it. But I thought this was so cute and the straw too, like it's just so like shiny. And I honestly love things like with texture. So it feels so cool. The coolest part about this though, is they also got me a matching little ornament of it. Is that adorable? So I need to hang this on my tree, but it actually does open up. I got a key. I think that is so cute. So I'm really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I love miniature things. And those of you that love, you know, obviously right now the whole mini brands are so popular. I was just like, I had to show this to you guys. So cute. Um, I got this little soap. It smells so good. Some cards, candles, and this one smells amazing. And like, I love the glass jar it's in. It's so sparkly. And I got another candle that was from actually one of my uh, coworkers. And then you guys, you cannot go wrong giving a teacher a gift card. So I got Starbucks gift cards. We have a local um, coffee shop 
for it's called the district it's so good so i got me gift cards there dutch bro amazon like i got so spoiled target um it was so cute one of my students um i opened this in front of her and i was like how did you know i like target and she had like the biggest smile because who doesn't like target but i just thought that was so sweet i got some chocolates and i've already <laughs> busted into them they're amazing like yummy yummy truffles um, I also got a whole bag of goodies. I got into these already, but the Snickerdoodle Popcorn. Oh, it's from the, what is that? How you say? Popcornopolis. So yummy. I also got a lot more like treat things and chocolates, but I have gotten into those already. But honestly, I just felt so loved by my students. And I think one of my favorite parts is like when they give me cards. I love you, Missy. Like, when they write the cards to me, I think that's so sweet. And just like, they're so excited because they want me to like open it up in front of them. So that whole time with them is always so special. And Landon, oh, he made a whole like nativity set. So that's your background. And did you make all the people to it? Okay, we'll show you guys that too. But anyways, I feel like you can't go wrong with, for me at least, as a teacher, I use coffee tumblers all the time. Oh, cool, thank you. Um, coffee gift cards, Amazon gift cards are amazing. And then it was really cool, our school gave us all like stuff for our classroom. So, good job, bud. He's showing me his folder. Um, so like cardstock paper, like things that I use all the time and like our school, like we have to share it. So when you have your own as a teacher, it's really nice because um, you know, depending on the school, like most teachers, they don't have like a budget for your classroom. So there's so much stuff, honestly, like I just buy out of my own pocket. And it, so it was so nice to have a lot of things on hand. They gave me like construction paper and Sharpies and Expo markers. And, um, so honestly, that kind of stuff for teachers is amazing. Post-its and like, it was just so fun because I opened it with the kids and they were so excited. They're like, look at the stuff for our classroom because we get to use it. But for me, it's exciting because I'm like, I don't have to go out and buy it. And it's my own because again, like some schools like have stuff that you can share, but then it's always hard because you like teachers, you know, if you need something, something specific, you know, and the number of students you have, I go in there and I'm like, I need 15 red construction piece papers and we're out, you know? So it's nice that I have my own little stash. But anyways, just some ideas. And also, um, yeah, I just felt really loved. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. And now Landon's gonna show you his nativity thing he made. So Landon gets his folder sent home at the last day of every week. So he brought home some stuff, but you want to show everybody your little a nativity set you made oh and there's yeah your next your book you finished i really want to put this on my door it looks so cool that is a cool sticker oh it's like is that like a 3d one or it kind of like pops up a little bit oh, very cool all right you want to show us all the people you made so i made mary she was the one that uh was born from the baby jesus and this is a special mm, okay. one baby jesus mm -hmm. and so you can like put it on here and like tell the yes. story and so mary was traveling with joseph so they can get the baby and the, they made it to bethlehem and they had the baby baby jesus mm -hmm. and then uh they went to a manger and then an angel uh was partying and then she was what? She was saying hallelujah. Oh, did you say she was partying? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, these are the wise men that they, they travel far. Mm -hmm. They call it they who travel far. Oh, yeah. Um, they who travel and far. And they give baby Jesus gold and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I put this, like, yellow because it can make it cold. Oh, yeah. that one's a gold? Yeah. Did they bring him diapers and wipes, too? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is where they lived inside of this. It stinks so bad in there. Really? And this is the star that shines so bright. Oh, yeah. And who's that down there? Behind you. Uh, These are the shepherds that came. Mm-hmm. 
I forgot the color of their staff. The staff. The staff. I did our time. Yeah. And this was a donkey that came. Oh yeah. And that's it. What did the donkeys <laughs> say? <laughs> we had a song and the donkeys were in it. You don't want to do it? It just seemed embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> but Lana, you it did does a great this. job. Oh, yeah. You put like the ears up and you go up and down. <laughs> Buddy, you did a really good job. That's super cool. Thanks for telling us the story, too. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I had to show you Boston. As you can see, he's ready for a haircut. Yeah, he's ready for a haircut. <laughs> so we're gonna go take him. We actually gotta get ready to leave here pretty soon. I hope you don't get scared. I know, he usually does get a little nervous, but they always say you do such a good job. <laughs> I don't work maybe. We are loaded up in the car, ready to go uh, to take Boston to his appointment. There he is. Tucker, you got him? Tucker's like got the leash, he likes to hold it. Um, I thought though, boys, I haven't told them this yet, that I could use some of mom's gift cards I got for my students. You guys could get some hot cocoa at Dutch Bros. That sound good? That's it? No, yay, excitement. Yeah, yeah. That's the reaction I was looking for. I will, however, not be getting Dutch Bros. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get coffee because, well, if you've heard us before, we're not huge fans of Dutch Bros coffee, but if I get gift cards there, the boys always will drink their hot chocolate. So let's go. So I guess there's other people that have the same idea as we did for Dutch Bros. That's the line. But there's like a guy, I think, coming all the way out here to get our order, so that's cool. So I don't remember if I mentioned earlier, but Justin is working today. Um, so he's doing some things at the office and then um, he's getting this up for FNL. And I just got off the phone with him and we decided on what we were gonna do. So we just figured that out today. But we're making the spinach and artichoke dip from Tony's restaurant in uh, Disney World. So we're really excited. It sounds amazing to us and um, we usually do like sweet stuff, so it'll be cool to do something a little bit different. Okay, so that took a while, but. Mommy. Yes. Why can't, why, why we can't go to swim lessons right now? Because it's winter, we'll do swim lessons when it's warm. No, when it's summertime. Summertime, yeah. So as most places are understaffed, um, yeah. They were as well, but I had a good conversation with um, a guy there, so it was nice. But I do not have time to get my Starbucks before Boston's appointment. But the boys got their hot cocoa. How is it? Good, good Tuck. So I'll just get mine after. That's okay, because I've only got like six minutes to get here. But luckily, it's just down Meridian Road, so we'll make it just in time, and then. Starbucks. Right. Hey guys, got the Starbucks. I got the Irish cream cold brew. It is amazing. I got some egg bites, the bacon kind, and a little something for the boys. They're getting a little spoiled today because I mean, it's Christmas break and they've just done a good job getting through school with me. Look at the little reindeer cake pop. You excited? <laughs> it's a red nose. I scarfed down those egg bites. I just realized it is close to 1.30 and I haven't had really much thing, anything to eat with protein. So how did you guys um, like your cake pops? Good, but we did eat a lot because our tummies were full. Tummies were full, it's a lot. Just got off work, had a couple of meetings this morning and now I am headed to one of my favorite stores actually, and you guys have seen this store before, but it's called Albertson's Market Street. And a lot of people call it Marketplace, but it's not, it's Market Street. It's not like the Facebook Marketplace, it's Market Street, so get it right, because it's one of my pet peeves. Um, but it's called Market Street, and uh, it has just so many different options um, as far as like food goes and stuff. So this store is perfect for like the specialty things, like special cheeses and all that kind of stuff. And so for tonight, for our F&L, which you guys know about, 
um, our Friday Night Live, which we're really excited about. We haven't done one of those forever. We're gonna get the ingredients here. And uh, we're not really telling anyone what we're doing, um, but we'll, I'll tell you because, you know, we just did the FNL tonight and this is airing tomorrow. Uh, but we're doing an artichoke dip um, from Tony's Town Square in Walt Disney World. And we thought it would be really fun because we wanted to do something a little bit simple for the Friday Night Live because we wanted to just kind of hang out and talk with you guys and stuff. But also it's like a really good dip for like your Christmas festivities, your New Year's parties, all that kind of stuff. And having a good dip in your back pocket is essential. Uh, so, and I love, I love a good artichoke dip. And so we're really excited to try this one from Walt Disney World. So if you haven't watched that, uh, our live, we'll link that below, check it out. It's gonna be a fun, fun time tonight. So anyways, we're gonna go inside, get the ingredients, talk to you soon. involves lots of cheese and it's gonna be so good and garlic I mean what else do you need garlic and cheese that's all you need that's all you need um, but now I'm headed to get my hair cut I I'm having a hard time getting my hair cut guys and some of you know we lost a really dear friend um, just a couple weeks a couple weeks ago and uh, she was also the person who did my hair um, her name was Jess Jessica and um, it's, it's, I, I'm taking it kind of hard getting my hair cut. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't had my hair cut since her, and uh, it needs to be done, and it's time to do it. But I don't know, it's one of those things where I'm, I, I am having a hard time with it, and <laughs> uh, we love her, we miss her so much. Um, but uh, we know she's in a better place, and uh, she loved Jesus, and so anyway, but uh, get my hair cut, gotta do it. So anyway, all right, gonna do that. I'm getting emotional, so I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get off. Well, guys, the hair has been cut. It, she did a good job, not Jess's caliber. It was weird, I'm not gonna lie, but at least it's done. So now we are going to, you can see right here, searchers, to find something that the boys wanted to get dad for Christmas. So we got stopped at the party stuff and Tucker's birthday is coming up in January. He wants to do Jurassic World birthday so just checking out the Jurassic this? World merch. You want this Tucker? It's a pretty cool bucket. Yeah. So we're down the yeah. costume aisle and I saw this. I thought it was kind of funny so You're there's like dead. doctor like like costumes and stuff for kids and then it's like a surgical mask for $1.23 for your costume. It's just funny because it's like you know in the year 2021 um, you wouldn't really think of spending a dollar twenty-three on this for your costume when pretty much you can get a whole pack anywhere for a lot cheaper. One of my favorite parts of Zerkers as a kid was looking at all of these big posters. Are pretty cool. There's a Luca one too. Awesome. Well, we didn't find what we were looking for as Zerkers, but it was fun going to the clown store, wasn't it, Tuck? as you call it. Yeah. Um, and just kind of looking around, but we are home now and oh, look who else is home here. Hello. Hey, what's up? So good timing. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my hair cut. I just, I just told him I got my hair cut. Oh, you did? And I said it was weird because Jess didn't cut it. Yeah. See? First yeah. haircut. Looks good. Yeah. It's, I get it's my not, hair it's, done. I told him it's not week. Jess caliber, but yeah. She did the best with uh, his hair. Is that coffee? I got an Irish yeah, cream cold brew. Yeah. Was it good? It was really good. It's so good. Boston's getting a haircut? And Boston. It's haircut day. Yes, it is. We're going to a phone store. We went to the phone store? Clown store. The and Dutch, oh, and Dutch store. Bros. Zerker, Zerchers? Yeah. Nice. But anyways, we're gonna go inside and just kind of hang out for a little bit and then wait for the call for Boston, pick him up and get things all ready for um, going live tonight. So um, yeah, maybe we'll see some of you guys on there. Tired? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I've had this chair right here for a while, and it's been a good chair. It's falling apart. The armrest right here is wait this one armrest right here falls apart, and it's just it's time for it's time for a new a new chair. So we picked up this chair right here. Super excited to put it together. It has lumbar support. It has uh, neck rest, all that kind of stuff. And so it's just, it's time. It's time for a new chair. I've been doing quite a bit of editing, obviously for Vlogmas, but also just uh, more editing uh, lately. And I don't see that going away. I actually just see it picking up more, which I'm really excited about. I love editing. It's what I love to do. And it's just, it's, 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 it's what I like to do. So it's time to invest in a good chair because if you're sitting down editing for you know several hours several hours at a time, um, you just need you need that support. So let's put this guy together. Oh man, I was hoping it would just be like a matter of putting the base on, but it seems like there's a little bit more to it than that. Bummer, <laughs> man. Already, it's just like so comfortable. It's just like really made really well, all the stitching. Oh man, I cannot wait for this. Okay, all the pieces are lined out. All up here, all the hardware. Man, guys, it's so comfortable. Um, all right, let's get it. Guys, this is so nice. It's done. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And I'm telling you what, I don't know why it's taking me this long to get a chair that has actual lumbar support and this raises up and down if I need that. Goodness gracious, it's amazing. These guys right here can go up and down. I'll give it a little tour. Here it is right here. Boom. This right here, this lumbar support, actually, depending on, on, on your spinal cord, it actually will like adjust accordingly, which is so nice. It's so comfortable. It's like made a really good quality. Arm rest, up and down, head rest, up and down, all that kind of stuff. It's great, guys. It's so great. Yeah, see right here. How your lumbar support. Boom, boom. It's perfect. Okay, we're back here to get Boston. I feel bad they text me that he was ready, but um we were in an appointment and then there was like a car accident so it took us a while to get here but i called them and told them we we're on our way and they're like no problem he's just sitting on um i forget their name kathy's chair i was like just enjoying life so i'm excited to see what he looks like so i'll show you guys all right guys here he is in all his glory oh you feel nice and that beard much better Boston, come on, give everybody a good look. Let's see your handsome face. Oh, there it is. <laughs> they are so sweet here, guys. I think we've talked about them before at Classic E9 Clips. We're in Meridian, and they just love Boston. Um, and they just do a great job, and they're just so sweet, too. So, he is all ready for Christmas. All right, guys, so Lacey is editing. <laughs> The vlog for, well, the vlog you're watching. <laughs> She's editing right now. <laughs> and uh, we're getting ready for FNL tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and get all everything laid out on the counter. And it's what, 6.06, which means we got less than an hour until we go live. Right now we are on our FNL and I'm I'm using Lacey's phone to film. It's a little pink phone. Loving it. So everyone say hi. There we go. Hi, future self. Say hello. Anyway, um, so what we're doing. Lacey is just grading away uh -oh. for days. Uh-oh. Block fell in. Oh, it's a chunk that fell in. Anyway, cool, cool. We will see you guys in a bit. Well, everybody, we just got done with the live. It was so much fun. Thank oh, you guys, you guys for are coming. Seriously, like... We can't, fun. I don't, yes, I, I just, we just can't, like, it just, I don't know what it is. It just, it, it makes us feel so good that you guys like to hang out with us mm -hmm. and, and then, and that you guys have fun. Like, that's the thing. I always get worried about these because I'm like, what if it's boring? But like, you guys yeah. are enjoying it and I don't know. 
Makes us feel great. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a mess to clean up. This is the aftermath of Friday Night Lives. Um, but the table's gonna smell like garlic. Our whole house smells like garlic. Our pores gonna smell like garlic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we're gonna wait for this to cook. We're gonna try it. We're gonna watch a movie, and then we'll close out the vlog from there. Can but, I say one thing? Yeah. Okay. So I've been editing this vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like watched something, and I was like, oh, and it's probably like not a big deal, but I just want to like retract what I not retract, but add to what I said. So you guys know what I was doing, <laughs> and this is probably not a big deal, but to me, I just want to like give credit to whom credit's due kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. When I was talking about my like teacher um, student gift haul, I said like my school gave us, and then I talked about the supplies. It wasn't our school, it was like parents of students that go to the school that got together and did this for the teachers and it was so sweet. That's cool. But I just felt bad because I was like, I said the school did it, but it was the parents of some it students. It was the parents. So I just wanted to make sure after I was editing it, I was like, Lacey, like talking to myself. I'm like, you said it wrong. So now I can fix it. It was the parents. There we go. And you guys are probably like, what are you even talking about? We weren't even listening to you. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be back. We'll be back. Talk about how it tastes. How it tastes next. Yeah. Okay, guys, it is done. If you guys watched our video, we said that we would cook this longer because it needed to be cooked longer. Um, and we would retry it. It still was really good on the live. It was, but I can already tell by looking at it, it and, looks way and better. It smells better. Because, like, look at, see how that burnt cheese on the sides? Yeah. Like, that's what we wanted to see. And then, like, you can even see the artichoke there. And then it was, like, bubbling a little bit. And what I mean by that it smells better is that it just feels like it's, like, cons it's more consistent, I guess. It, it, before, it had, like, an overpower of garlic. Mm -hmm. And now it just feels like you can smell all the cheeses and the garlic consistently. Right. You know? And also, like... It wasn't when I was pulling it up. Like, see how like the cheese is like yeah, that. It was not like that. It wasn't melted yet. So, definitely needed more time. And we brought Cassie yeah, to try it out. <laughs> Unbiased like, opinion. Um, garlic choke dip. Yes, they do. Okay. So this is um, what kind of shape is this of this bowl? It's like a. It's a rooster. Oh, it's a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> but this is from Tony's where we were supposed to go. Oh yeah. When we were in Disney World, Cassidy. But. We did not. We'll have to do it again. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really strong. Uh, it is good. Oh, way better. That's good. so good. Is it? So much better. It just no needs more time way. in the oven. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Here, my goodness. Grab the, key, grab the camera. Oh, man. It's my turn. It's perfect, you guys. Now, I regret from even on the live saying maybe less garlic because... You need really? it. Yeah, you need it because when you bake it, it takes it the garlic oh, likeness. Cheese, yeah. Guys. And look at that. The garlic like went down as far as the, oh, the my strength God. of it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just need more time in the oven. I think the garlic's mm -hmm. fine. Yep. Again. That tastes so fresh. Too. Yeah. Yeah. When it came out, it seems like everything was consistent, a consistent smell. Nothing mm -hmm. was overpowering mm -hmm. something. Guys, it's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yep. We did it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And if you guys were with us at FNL, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. You guys should uh, watch that if you haven't. We'll link that below. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, we love you guys. Yes. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. All right, peace.